Revenge was on the mind of the number five Yukon Huskies as they hosted St. John's at the XL Center on Saturday night. They had lost back in January in Hartford to the Red Storm and sought revenge against them while continuing a rivalry with legendary head coach Rick Pitino that dates back to the 1980s. The Huskies were looking to end 2023 on the right note following a conference opening loss to Seton Hall on Wednesday night. Samson Johnson, who had to fill in the shoes of Don Klingen, had a career night, scoring 16 points, which led the team. I'm so proud. I don't think I've ever been prouder of a, of a, of a, of a guy stepping in for such a critical piece. Uh, and um, just if he didn't play like that, we had no chance because he played against one of the best big guys in the country and uh, you know, won the matchup. The crowd was involved from, the, from start to finish, and the Huskies needed it going down the stretch. Stefan Castle helped in a big way late uh, in the game, scoring a basket plus a foul. Denise Jenkins missed a three-point shot, and Hassan Diar ended up drawing the foul, going one for two from the free throw line to ice the game and give the Huskies a 69-65 to win. Yeah, we uh, obviously saved Christmas for uh, a lot of people in Connecticut for ourselves today. So uh, it was really the first thing that um, went across my mind. And uh, then I wished the crowd behind the bench a, a Merry Christmas uh, right as the clock was running down there. So um, I think what I'm most happy about is that uh, we saved Christmas for ourselves and for our great fans and for the state of Connecticut. Um, you know, because a loss here tonight would have been a lot of doom and gloom for a lot of people. The Huskies will take the rest of 2023 off in preparation for a home game against DePaul on January 2nd. But until then, from the XL Center, I'm Sam Calhoun, UCTV Sports.